it's so crazy that I am just now finding out what the 4B movement is because me and the other women in my life, we've been on that. The male delusion about the 4B movement goes crazy. The 4B movement actually originated from Nigeria. <sighs> okay, fine. Not exactly. But it was the plotline of an Hollywood movie just a couple of years ago titled Wives on Strike. The story followed the lives of four women who started a revolutionary protest against abuse and domestic violence to force the government to do something about it. They figured if every woman stopped having sex with men, men would be forced to take the problem seriously. And so, wives stopped having intercourse with their husbands and even sex workers joined the strike action. It worked and the problem was addressed. But that's just a movie. Imagine my surprise when a real-life movement turns up on my feed. Although the details are slightly different, women are saying no to men because of the 4B movement. However, you probably know that life is stranger than fiction, so there's a huge plot twist. Before we get into it, you're welcome to my army of armed soldiers where we talk about the deep truths people tend to miss. To join us, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take with Theo. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. So guys, in 2019, a feminist movement started in South Korea by the women of the region and it was called the 4B movement, also known as the Four No's. It states that women are no longer doing four things with men sexual relations, child rearing, dating, and marriage. So it got its name 4B because each word starts with the BI from the South Korean alphabets. Basically, the women of South Korea gave up on their men and decided to act as though men no longer exist. Some claim that this movement started because of misogyny of men, a means to protest against the patriarchy, <laughs> and others say it's because of the heel treatment of women by men. The women have had it up to here with the abuse and simply checked out. Okay, I'm out. The movement has lasted for years now, but it is important to note that not all women in South Korea are actively participating in it. Interestingly, the birth rate in South Korea has reduced consecutively over a six-year period, with each year being worse than the last. At this rate, they just might be driving themselves into extinction. According to some experts, however, the decline may not be as a result of the movement, but because kids are expensive and people are broke. <laughs> money, money, I need money! Now that we've recapped the history, let's get to the drama, shall we? Enter the dragon, enter the Western feminist. Yes, people, the 4B movement has found its way to the West and trust the woke mafia to hijack a precious opportunity to slander men. These TikTokers in support of the 4B movement have called for it in the United States. We have the power to make morons go extinct like dinosaurs. The morons here are just creating mediocrity. They are creating harm to Mother Earth and disrespecting the planet. And they are cancer to the planet. We don't need that, okay? We can live without mediocrity. We can live without the morons, okay? And if you're continuing to procreate with morons, you're just making little morons. Don't have no baby with no modern day bum. The male delusion about the 4B movement goes crazy. Like every other video on my FYP is some clown trying to convince us and himself that he's not concerned. But I see like dozens of these a day. If you weren't concerned, you wouldn't be, I would be seeing video after video after video after video. It's giving much concern. It's giving panic. While others claim it's already been here and they've been celebrated for a few months or years now. It's so crazy that I am just now finding out what the 4B movement is because me and the other women in my life, we've been on that. We've been on the 4B movement. We've been on the 4C movement. What is you talking about? Right. You buy that? No. Although more and more women seem to be in support of this movement, the internet has got a superpower of blowing things out of proportion. Feminists are demanding that men change their ways or else. <laughs> well, let's just say they won't have to worry about the cost of diapers anymore or who's going to pay on the first date. And if you think the crazy is over, think again. Because this is not Asia. This is the wild, wild west. A few days after the 4B movement surfaced in the US, men also held live meetings, yes, as to what to do about the unfolding crisis. 
And they too have now taken to social media. Um, and uh, 4G, 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 4G. The boys are not having it all, and they are serious. <laughs> In response to the 4B movement, they started a movement of their own called the 4G movement, which stands for no sex, no time, no provision, and no babies. And it's actually gained some traction as well. As I was scrolling my TikTok today, I came across a live talking about the 4G movement. These guys were discussing men just doing all of these things. As a counterpoint to the 4B movement. Well, it was, very, it was a very packed house there. I didn't have a chance really to, to say my piece, so I thought I would make a comment on it here. Love it. Love it. I'm finna rage bait just because, I mean, why not? I'm fine with the 4B and 4G movements. Let's just take each other the f*** out of here. <laughs> it's hilarious. You know, just a few months ago, passport bros were the trend and men were already saying no to relationships with Western women. And that is still getting some pushback from women calling the passport bros weak and toxic and losers who can get women to like them. Now, with the start of the 4B movement, the same women who said those words are now saying that they don't want anything to do with men. So by that metric, that would make women weak and toxic and losers who can get a man also. Abby? <sighs> the West never ceases to amaze me. Sometimes it just feels like this entire culture, especially in the US, is one giant reality TV show. I mean, you can't make this up. Like, guys, chill. Even those who started it are not all over the place like this. This gender war, a bit funny sometimes, <laughs> has gone too far. Men and women need each other. And while movements like 4B and 4G may seem noble to the gender behind it, it only does more harm than good, as you can see in the speculated result in its country of origin. How about this? Men, treat your women right. And women, take some bloody accountability for your wrongs sometimes. Anyway, that's obviously easier said than done, hence why we're here in 2024 with each gender trying to best the other. My name is Dio, thanks for watching. Guys, like I always say, I may be completely off the mark. If you agree, you disagree, leave a comment below and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.